Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Once again, this is Juris, and uh, today my goal is uh, to teach you how to solve triangles, or in other words, the topic is about trigonometry. Okay, so in this uh, lesson, we're going to so solve a right triangle. Now, how do we know if a triangle is a right triangle? Okay, so triangle ABC is a right triangle because it has the 90 degrees sign. This box here means that this is 90 degrees. Now, uh, opposite of that 90 degrees is your longest side, which we are going to name as C, which is called our hypotenuse. And we have the two sides, the BC and AC. Now, since we named the hypotenuse as side C, opposite of angle A, we're going to name it as small letter A. And opposite of angle B, we name it as small letter B, which is equal to 15 centimeter. And A is 8 centimeter. So our task for tonight is to find the side C or the hypotenuse of the triangle. So in this uh, exercise, we're going to use the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse or the longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So meaning if you want to find the square of the longest side, you're going to plus together the square of A and B. Okay, so C squared is equal to what is our A? 8. So we're going to square it, 8 squared, plus our B is 15 centimeters, so 15 squared. Or C squared is, what is 8 squared, or 8 times 8, is equal to 64. While 15 squared is equal to 2 to 5. Okay, so C squared now is equal to, so what is 4 plus 5 is 9, 6 plus 2 is 8, then copy down to 89. Now that is C squared. What we want to find is C only. So it means that we're going to transfer the square at the other side, and the opposite of square is the square root of. So meaning we find the square root of 289 so that we will get what is side C and square root of 289 is equal to 17. So our answer is equal to 17. So the longest side is 17 centimeter which makes sense as our other two sides are shorter. Our side A is 8 cm while our side B is 15 cm and our side C, the hypotenuse, is 17 cm. Okay, how about in a triangle wherein the longest side or the hypotenuse is given and we are going to look for the other two sides or one of the shorter sides. Okay, so we are going to solve now the next triangle. So on the next triangle, so since this our this is our angle A, then this sorry. Since this is our angle A, then BC is our side A. While for uh, the largest angle, which is angle C, that will be our side C, which is given, which is equal to 13. 
And then, for the opposite of angle B, we are going to call it side B or small letter B. Okay, now, we are looking for A. Now, uh, earlier, we solved about the C, the longest side, using C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. But this time, we are looking for A squared. So, meaning we transfer the plus B squared at the other side. We do the opposite of plus, which is minus. So, our equation now is C squared minus B squared is equal to A squared. So, what is our C? C is 13. 13 squared minus 12 squared is equal to A squared. Now, what is 13 squared or 13 times 13 is 169. So, 169 minus 12 squared is uh, 12 times 12, 144 is equal to A squared. Now, we minus what is 9 minus 4 is 5, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 25 is A squared. But we don't want A squared. We only want side A. So, once again, we transfer squared at the other side so that we are going to find only A. And what's the opposite of uh, squared? It's square root of 25. So, square root of 25 is equal to A. And what is square root of 25? 5. So, our final answer is 5. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope that uh, you learned something from my video today. And I hope that... Uh, Slowly, you will learn to like maths and I hope that you will practice more at home so that in the end, you will say that maths is easy and maths is fun. Thank you for watching and if you like my video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Bye!